Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's learn chapter 11, Monopoly, together. A monopoly is the only supplier of a good that has no close substitute. A monopoly can set its price. It is not a price ticker like a competitive firm is. A monopoly's output is the market output, and the demand curve a monopoly faces is the market demand curve. Because the market demand curve is downward sloping, the monopoly doesn't lose all its sales if it raises its price, unlike a competitive firm. Consequently, the monopoly sets its price above marginal cost to maximize its profit. A monopoly, like any firm, maximizes its profit by operating where its marginal revenue equals its marginal cost. A monopoly chooses output to maximize its profit by using the necessary condition, which is marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. A firm's marginal revenue curve depends on the demand curve it faces. A monopoly's marginal revenue curve is downward sloping and lies below its demand curve at any positive quantity because its demand curve is downward sloping. Using the product rule of differentiation, we can write the monopoly's marginal revenue function with two terms. The second term, P, is the price or the average revenue, and the first term is the slope of the demand curve times the quantity sold. The slope is negative, so the marginal revenue is lower than the price. That is, a monopoly's marginal revenue curve lies below its inverse demand curve at any positive quantity. An example is the linear inverse demand curve. We can rewrite the marginal revenue function in terms of elasticity. The marginal revenue should be positive. It implies that the elasticity is less than minus 1, which means a monopoly operates in the elastic portion of the demand curve. It never operates in the inelastic portion of its demand curve. A monopoly has market power. The ability of a firm to charge a price above marginal cost an unpositive profit. Market power is related to the price elasticity of demand. Market power can be measured using the ratio of the price to marginal cost. It depends only on the elasticity of demand at the profit maximizing quantity. As the firms become more competitive, the price elasticity approaches to negative infinity and the price becomes close to its marginal cost. On the other hand, when the demand becomes less elastic, the price becomes more and more higher than the marginal cost. Another way to show how the elasticity of demand affects the market power is to look at the firm's NANA index. A NANA index, or the price markup, is the ratio of the difference between price and marginal cost to the price.
A monopoly sets price above its marginal cost and above the competitive price, and causes consumers to buy less than the competitive level of output. It generates that way loss. Compared to the competitive case, a monopoly causes the consumer surplus to decrease and also lead to a debit loss which is equal to the area of the triangle D and E. It can be proved that the monopoly will lower its output and increase the price when the government imposes the specific tax. And the debt weight loss will also increase. Why are some markets monopolized? Two key reasons are that a firm has a cost advantage over other firms, or government created the monopoly. A firm can have a cost advantage over potential rivals because it has an essential facility, it has a superior technology or organization, or it is a natural monopoly. When generic jobs enter the market after the patent on a brand name job expires, the demand curve facing the brand name firm shifts to the left. The demand curve not only shifts to the left, but it rotates. It becomes less elastic because the patients who continue to use the brand name jobs are less elastic. The new demand curve D2 becomes deeper than the original demand curve D1. And it's possible that the brand name firm can set a price that's higher than the original price. Thank you for watching the video.